Hello and welcome to Design Education Talks by the New Art School. Our guest today is Lisa Wistanley. Welcome, Lisa. Hello, hello, Lefteris. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's my, my pleasure to be part of your podcast. It's fantastic to have you here. So tell us about you and your work. Okay, where to, where to start? Uh, I, I wear many hats. Um, I am an educator, design educator, and I have been for the last decade or so. Um, I'm also a practicing designer and a researcher, design researcher. So I wear these different hats uh, on numerous occasions, many times a day, and sometimes I forget to switch between the, between them. But uh, it, it it's a makes for a fun experience. So um, a little bit of of background for for context. I'm originally from the UK, um, where I worked for about. 15 years as a practicing designer in the uh, graphic design and visual communication fields. Um, I predominantly worked in sort of packaging design and um, design for, for um, food and beverage industry was, was my forte in, in the UK. Um, however, I, I after about 15 years, uh, long story, uh, but I ended up in the Middle East, uh, in Kuwait. Um, and there, I found it quite difficult to get work in the design industry. So I transitioned to design education, and I worked at an all-women's college over in the Middle East, in Kuwait, for about eight years, and then moved over to where I currently am, in Singapore at um, Nanyang Technological University here in Singapore, where I'm an assistant professor in the School of Art, Design and Media. So it's quite a, a challenge being a sort of art and design school in a technological university, uh, but we make it work. Uh, and we, we are all about tackling new challenges and, and figuring out how we can fit within that sort of big university ecosystem. Uh, so, so my role within the school, um, again, is, is, like I say, threefold. I'm an I'm a, a assistant professor in a teaching capacity, and I teach uh, visual communication courses, typography courses. Um, currently, I'm teaching illustration for designers and design thinking as well. So, so that, that's my sort of teaching scope. Uh, in terms of research, um, my research sort of sits in the intersections between ethical creative practices and collaborative creative practices and pedagogies. So I really look at the spaces in between those places and how we can generate tools and resources uh, for effective ethical collaboration to sort of bring about designed for a positive change in the world. Uh, so, so that's where my sort of research sits. And then on top of that, I'm a practicing designer as well. Again, still within the sort of scope of visual communication. Um, I love making posters. I love really trying to use my craft to uh, advocate for the different sort of social and cultural issues that we're facing in, in our society. And hopefully I can bring all of those things into the classroom and put back um, and get our students to participate in this kind of, of things as well. Encourage them to research, encourage them into social and cultural issues. That's fantastic. Thank well, you. Thank you so much for this fantastic conversation. And again, looking forward to collaborating with you on the Education Forum that's coming yes. up in end of May, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, good. Fingers crossed. I, I, I will hope so too. I'm looking forward also. Thanks so much, Lev Terrence. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.